this tip of the day, let's take a look at generating 3-axis toolpath within the 1CNC 4-axis module. In this example, we have a part, and this is going to be mounted to an indexer. Now, I think this is a great example of a situation where you might not have access to a lathe, but you still need to machine this type of geometry. All right, now the first step is to create unwrapped geometry. We can do that by heading over to the Command Manager, selecting Model Tools, Unwrap Cylinder, and simply select the largest diameter cylinder on your part. We're going to left click, and as soon as we do that, 1CNC creates the unwrapped geometry for that cylinder. All right, and if we also look within the layer browser, there's a brand new layer called Unwrap. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to extract some edges so we can create the surfaces that we're going to ultimately drive our 3D toolpath on. And that's going to be these edges right here. So I'm going to select the Unwrap layer, make sure we're on the same layer. That way our new geometry will be placed on the Unwrap layer. Let's go to Extract an Edge. I'm going to hold the Tab key down. That way 1CNC will only extract the geometry that I select as opposed to selecting all the tangent geometry. And when I'm done, I can right hand mouse click. That looks good. Let's turn our part layer off. Very good. Now we have a little bit too much geometry. There's really some geometry here we don't need. So why don't I hit the letter S on the keyboard and I'm just going to left click those edges right there and hit the delete key on the keyboard. All right, let's take this cross section geometry. Let's use our chain select. That looks great. Hit the F3 key and let's move it right to the very edge of our unwrapped geometry. Very good. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a group of surfaces that we can apply our 3D toolpath to. The most direct way is head over to the command manager, go into your surface tools and use this surface called swept. All you need to do is digitize the cross section first and then the drive line. And when you're done, you can right hand mouse click. Very good. All right, our geometry is created. Let's bring our part layer back on. And now we're going to head up to the NC Manager and select the Set Machining Axis. From here, we're going to select the 4-axis Wrap Machining. That looks great. For the material diameter, that happens to be 3.5 inches. That's the diameter of that cylinder I unwrapped. We'll click OK. And that looks good. And we're ready to apply our toolpath now. Let's turn our part layer off. Head over to the Command Manager, go into our Model Toolpaths. Let's use Planar Finish Face. I'm going to left click those surfaces we created, right hand mouse click, and I'm just going to use the default parameters in here. Quarter inch diameter ball end mill, clearance values look great. I think our step over and toolpath angle look good. 50,000 step over, we'll click next. All this looks fine. Let's click finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. And really that's it. In fact, we can turn off our unwrap layer. Let's turn on our indexer and part layer. And why don't we preview our toolpath? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's right click and preview toolpath. All right, now I've got the simulation speed turned up really fast here so you can see everything. And what you're seeing is that ball end mill really performing three axis toolpath wrapped around the part geometry. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.